Okay, so the second kind of paint we're going to use is called watercolor paint. So I'm going to dip my brush in some water to wake those colors up. You, you're going to do just like you did with the tempera paint, except for this time it's a different kind of paint called watercolor. And it doesn't really need as much water on top because these are smaller cakes. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop some color, some water on top of each of those colors while my water is still pretty clean. Um, you can keep your water pretty clean by trying to use up all the paint that's on your brush before you go back to the water cup to wash your brush. Alright, so I'm going to use this color. I'm still just using the watery part on top of that little uh, pan. So you can see this color, it's a little bit more transparent. You can kind of see through it more than you can with the tempera paint. Um, you'll have to keep dipping your brush in water because they're going to dry out pretty fast. Now you can mix colors with these as well, um, the same way you did with the other. You just wash your brush in between and then stick it in a new color. Um, the third thing you're going to explore today are these watercolor pencils. They, they look a lot like colored pencils, um, but the neat thing about them is is you can use them on your paper, Let's color something in, and then you can add a little water on top, Ooh. and it turns it into paint on your paper. So um, it might be easier to control where you are coloring with these if you wanted to make something in a really small area. Um, you can blend colors. Uh, I'm going to blend a little, mm, blend a little yellow. This works. Yeah. So I'm going to do two, two colors, and then I'm going to dip my brush in some water and wet them, wet them both at the same time, and that's going to blend those colors for you on your paper. Um, so you can experiment with watercolor. Um, there are a couple of ways. Uh, you could use it just like I did, uh, wet your brush, put it in a color, and paint on dry paper. You can also try painting a little bit of your paper just with water first. So I'm just wetting my paper, and then I'm going to use a color on top. And you can kind of see how it, maybe you can't see. <laughs> uh, it sort of takes the color and spreads it out. Um, and it makes it sort of fuzzy and easy to blend. So you, so you want to try using it on wet paper and on dry paper.